Hey guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make lava that rises and kills players in Roblox Studio. So first, we're going to start by inserting the part into the workspace, and I'm just going to customize this. You can make it look however you want, but for me, I'm going to make the material foil. Um, if I just find it, and I'm going to make the color red. I think this gives it a nice lava look, and I'm also going to set the transparency to 0 0.2, and I think this looks fine. Um, and this is my lava, and now what I'm going to do, I'm actually also going to um, deselect can collide, otherwise this will not work. Um, so to deselect can collide, you're going to open properties, and you're going to select your part and you search up can collide, and then you're going to uncheck this box. Because if collisions are not deselected, then when this part is moving up, will be it will get caught on other parts and players, and it will stop moving, and the lava will glitch out, and it will break your game. So make sure you deselect collisions, and also make sure it's anchored. Now it's time to start the scripting. So I'm just going to call this part lava for, um, you know, just because it's lava, so I call it lava. But you guys don't really have to name it lava. You can just name it whatever you want. And now inside of lava, I'm going to insert a script, and this script is going to be the script that makes it move up and down. Well, mainly up, but you can really customize it if you know how. But this is going to be the move script, and inside you're just going to type this right here. And once you copy this down, you can actually change this number right here if you like. The dot .0.5, this is actually the number that decides how high it goes, you know, how far up it goes. So let's say you put it to something like 1, it goes higher, but if you put it to back to 0 .05, it still rises pretty high, but it just, you know, rises less high. So now if we run this, it should work and the lava will rise higher. And there it goes. Slowly but steadily, it does rise. And there it goes. And now, um, we also have to add the kill script, because if our player touches this, um, you know, nothing will happen. And yeah, so let's insert a script into the lava, and you can call this kill. You can name it anything you want, but I'm just gonna call it kill. And, you know, because it's a kill script. And then you're just going to type this. So this is a script. So anyways, um, once you've got this down, you can actually customize it right here where it says humanoid health equals zero. You can change how much health it takes off of it. For example, if I wanted to take only 50 health, then I'd set it to something like 50. Um... But it doesn't keep taking away health. Just once you touch it, that's the health that the humanoid is on. So I'll show you what I mean right now. See, if you touch the lava, it will bring you down to 50 health, because that's what we said it. But it won't bring you down to anything lower than that. Now, as you can see, if we go ahead and touch the lava, it will bring us down to 50 health, but it won't bring us down lower than that. Now, obviously, if you set this number to 100, it will instantly kill you. And that is all you need to know about how to make rising lava that kills a player in Roblox Studio. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I see you guys in the next video.